Okay, let's change gears, talk about the weather. Here's Jennifer Correa. Hey, Jen. Hey, good morning, Keith. Well, it's very humid out there, and temperatures are going to heat up fast since we're out ahead of a front, which means the flow, at least aloft, is out of the south. Winds at the surface this morning, though, have been calm, and it will stay like that until the front gets a little closer later this afternoon. That's when the breeze will start to pick up. But nice and quiet on real-time radar. Let's talk about the future weather. So let's go into later on this afternoon. That's around 4 o'clock uh, right here, and you can see that Broward not seeing much action yet, but Miami-Dade inland areas will get a few of those isolated showers developing at this time. This is at 4 o'clock. Now, I want you to take a close look because by 5 o'clock over Broward and Northwest Dade, we're going to be dealing with scattered showers and storms. It intensifies, though, after this. Uh, so 6 o'clock through 8 p.m., that's when I expect the worst of the weather. We're talking about pockets of heavy rainfall and an isolated strong to severe thunderstorms that could produce gusty winds. And we can never rule, rule out an isolated tornado when there is that severe threat. So again, the worst of the weather will really be from 6 p.m., so from this evening through early tonight, and then some lingering showers over overnight will move down south over parts of the Keys. Then by tomorrow we start things off nice and quiet. Maybe just a few isolated showers for the Keys tomorrow afternoon. Now back to today's severe threat. It is a marginal risk and so the Storm Prediction Center has different levels of severe risk, right? And so marginal is the lowest and it is that darker shade of green. This it means that there's an isolated threat for a severe storm and that's late this afternoon through this evening. And this includes Palm Beach County down through the upper keys. Look at these temperatures in the low 70s. Kendall's at 69 still, but it is very humid, so it does not feel nice. I'll say it. it's sticky. Now it will be nice when it comes to the first half of today and rain because we'll stay mainly dry until we get those storms brewing later on this afternoon. So highs are going to have a chance to heat up to those mid 80s. It's a forecast high today of 85, but then tomorrow once we're behind the front, temperatures actually drop a tad enough to feel comfortable with upper 70s and near 80 degrees for the high tomorrow. Also lower humidity, Keith, and then breezy throughout much of the week. Lower humidity. We like the sound of that. All right. Thanks very much.